Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters, and debunkers. Right then, uh, first off, personally, I don't subscribe to any particular Flat Earth model. I'm still considering all possibilities. Um, now, the only one tiny little uh, thing which I uh, oh, is taking his, his time. Ah, nice leisurely ride. See, this is Thailand. Look at that. We are going um, under 20 kilometers an hour. And, you know, they're in no hurry. Enjoying the ride. You see? And that's what life's all about, isn't it? Here we are, all focused on getting to the stars and going into space and populating other planets. When really, we should be doing what these guys are doing. Just enjoying the scenery. <laughs> that's why we're here, isn't it? Why, why, why are we worried about where we're going when, once we've, you know, in... Why, why have they got us focused on going to places for 50 years? We've been talking about, you know, taking the human race out into space. And what have they got? Oh, oh, just, just recently one British guy has gone up on the ISS. <laughs> and if you believe that, <laughs> well, you just as well turn off now. <laughs> you know, we were going to have bases on the moon and uh, and uh, oh, all that stuff. And look at us. Look at us. 50 years on after bouncing around in a dust in a dusty Hollywood studio. We are not doing anything in space. Nothing. Nothing, except sending, apparently sending up the odd guy. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? You look at those, um, you look at those, uh, those uh, videos they do in the ISS. Always in the same location with the cameras hanging on the wall. Well, I don't get it, because I don't see any windows! <laughs> they got like three mega zoom cameras hanging on the wall there. But they haven't got a window to look out of. <laughs> oh dear, 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 dear. The inconsistencies. That's the thing, they can't do it, can they? They can't, you know, they can't have, like you would see as the space station whizzes around the Earth and, and, and multiple sunrises and sunsets in, in the space of a few hours. You know, all the, all the light and the shadows inside would have to change, but no, they're just in a sealed up tin can with fluorescent lighting. <laughs> You're up there just to do experiments for the ph pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> so they can develop more vaccines in zero G. What's the point? <laughs> are, we, are we all gonna have to go up to space to get treated for, uh, <laughs> for, for cancer and stuff? <laughs> and look at those guys. Those guys that have been up there for a year. And, and then he's still buff and he's got a tan and it's all smiles and everything's fine. Yeah, I, I've been in space for a year now and I've been eating food out of plastic bags. And look at me, I, I'm as strong as an ox. <laughs> oh, come on, you NASA lovers and you ESA lovers and you space lovers. Demand more. Demand more for your dollar. Come on. 
I mean, come just, oh, you should have like high res live feed all the way, inside, outside, upside, downside, everywhere, just, oh. <laughs> But you'll just go with it, yeah. Oh, did you notice, yeah, when we saw inside the, apparently inside the rocket as they were taking <laughs> with the, When they sent this Brit up in the, so <laughs> in the Soyuz. <laughs> oh, God. But so, so there they got this inside camera, right? And the rocket, it, it, you know, there it goes. It blasts off at however many G you're supposed to experience when you blast off. And there he is. There's the guy just casually writing on a piece of paper on a clipboard. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and now, and then, and then the things, the things doing its arc, as it does, you know, heading towards the ocean, as as we know. But then, yeah, as it's doing its arc, and then pop, off they switch to the CGI. And it's doing this kind of, uh, you know, almost like it looks level with the Earth. It's kind of leveled out like an aircraft, but much higher up, right? And doing its kind of circular orbit. And um, but inside the uh, the the little sardine can there, this um, uh, thing they got on a string is still pointing directly down. Yeah. So these guys. Of apparently kind of on the edge of uh, the atmosphere but this um, you know in a horizontal position but inside the capsule this some, whatever it is on a string is still pointing down vertically and then boom snap it's like they what happens? Everything suddenly goes weightless, like it's just like boom, click. You just pop out. What that looked look more like to me was someone being lifted up on a big long crane or a balloon or something, and then, and then at that moment is when they get dropped, Ding. released. They didn't just pop out of the atmosphere there, or, or gravity's pull, because if, it, if they only had to go that far to escape the pull of gravity, what about the bloody moon? How is that getting pulled round? Yeah? Huh? If you can pop out of gravity at, at that short distance, then, then, well, the Earth shouldn't have any effect on the moon at all, should it? <laughs> 